I'm running to the post office to uh, take one of my DVDs that I sold to a client over the weekend to the post office, and uh, it's raining, <laughs> and it's very cold. Let's see what it is outside. It's uh, a cold, for cold and wet, 35 degrees, uh, 46 degrees. Well, I'll be leaving for uh, the airport and flying to uh, Grapevine, Texas, actually going to Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, I suppose. And uh, I'll be uh, there through the weekend doing a, a workshop. I think I'll probably take the uh, little camera that I'm using right now for this uh, driving video. I'm just going to test it out, see if it works with my uh, Sony Vegas uh, video program. If it doesn't, then oh well. And if you're watching this, it, it worked. I'm supposed to deliver. Well, the talk in post office today is about this young man that's from here in Ennis. He grew up here, went to school here. He was attacked by a bear over the weekend. And uh, he put a video up on Facebook and half. It looked like he almost lost his uh, ear from about two inches up, and, and just almost lost it. Uh, he sprayed the bear with uh, pepper spray, but that seemed to do nothing but piss off the bear. But eventually the bear left him, and uh, he walked, I guess, three miles with a broken arm and uh, a bunch of bites on his body had the wherewithal to uh, make a video when he got back down to where his truck was, or car. But uh, he lives in Bozeman now, and I 
guess he's with the... I don't know who he's with, so I'm not going to say, but... Interesting. It's something that should really be on the national news, because you don't see that happen very often. I was reminded of the uh, Hugh Glass uh, guy who was just recently in the movie Re Revenge. Re Revenge. I can't even pronounce the name of the movie. I put the name of the movie up on the uh, uh, video, but uh, Revenant. Yeah. Uh, anyway, he uh, was pretty well torn up by a big grizzly bear too and uh, I don't think uh, this was a grizzly bear I think it was a sow black bear or something but uh, oh man I'll tell you that that would be scary I remember a time back in the uh, late 50s or early 60s I fell off a horse and broke my arm and had to walk uh, mile and a half to two miles back to my uh, uncle's farm house to get help and uh, you, you, that's what you have to do if you're out there in the wilderness by yourself you're pretty much uh, going to have to do whatever you can to get back to where you can get help pretty amazing story anyway I'm running uh, over to the uh, where am I running to I can't think of anything I need in the studio. I found what I needed. Well, I guess I'll turn around and head home. Oh, cough medicine. I'm going to get the cough drops. This is just me on my daily rounds. When I get home, I'm going to uh, work on my ghost dance piece. Bet it's snowing in those mountains right now. Now it's warmed up to 51 degrees. 51 degrees, that's not bad.
these are finally turning yellow and red and all the other colors. It's good to see. That's it.